Do you know what bhel puri does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having bhel puri from Haldirams. To this I've added some chopped tomatoes, pyaaz, dhania and hari mirch. This is 100 grams bhel puri, about 480 calories. Can you believe it? This is almost as high as when I had two vada pavs and two samosas. Let's see what happens. So good. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 35 mg increase. That's not too bad. Only thing is that when I had two samosas with hari chutney and meaty chutney, my blood sugar levels had increased by 30 mg, slightly lower than this. And if you see, in both cases, it took three hours for my blood sugar levels to come back to normal. It's not like in the case of bhel puri, they came back to normal faster. This clearly shows that just because a food item is lighter to eat, it doesn't mean that it will lead to a lower blood sugar spike compared to a heavier food item. Because end of the day, bhel puri is still majority carbs. Of course, quality of ingredients also matter. And from that perspective, bhel puri wins over vada pav and samosas. Because firstly, it's not got any maida in it. And secondly, it's got some fiber in it from the onion, tomatoes, dhania and harimich. Seeing the results so far, this is going to be an interesting series.